Gucci gang. Hey, gentlemen. This is a food for thought that just came to mind after I was doing that. A bonus on on La Musica. You know, it's amazing. Growing up, now I'm no fan of rap music, right? But anywho, growing up, the, the, when I was a young man, the rappers were actually masculine and to some extent hyper masculine, but at least they were masculine. And even though I grew up in a country where it's scalding hot all year round, I wore a leather jacket because I love how Run DMC looked in um, the leather jacket. My main mom was Master J. I just like, like his persona. Anywho, I wore a leather jacket. No, not the Michael Jackson like leather jacket. But I was no fan of Michael Jackson anyway. I preferred Prince. I know. That's, that's no consolation prize. I love, love the lyrics and his music. Prince is a real serious poet. Pay attention to his lyrics. He knows how to write. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Growing up, the rappers were actually men. They were masculine men. Uh, this is like a side note to La Musica, the, the bonus track La Musica, I love that. Some, some lady had said that when I was in the Virgin, La Musica, I just love that. Anyway, I know this is a trend and I hope you um, young and see it, but then you can't see it because you weren't around in the 80s. But back then, the rappers dressed like men, conducted themselves like men with the leather jackets, you know, they look like men. Like as a young man, you wanted to be a man like that. To, like especially for me, when Tougher Than Leather came out, that's how I, that, that shaped my persona. I know hard as nail and tough as leather. So I adopted that mindset. Now, I, I could not believe rock music sunk to the point where thugs are wearing dresses, skirts, putting weave extensions in their hair, uh, lipstick, fingernail polish. Oh, well, this 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 wasn't the thugs, but this this the dudes in between, um, walking around with a purse. Gentlemen, you have no reason. To be walking around with a purse and what was more disgusting and despicable is that it, it, it was being sold as a man bag no there's no such thing because there's no such thing as a man panty so you can't have a man bag uh, gentlemen you got to be careful of this music it is gone from you know just uh, people just expressing their frustration to, to glorification of drug use, um, genocide, now the just playing old, I don't even know what to call this, a man castrating themselves, I, I don't understand that, how you as a man would castrate yourself. And you know what is amazing, um, I came across Nelly Fuller in 1997, now this man had said this in 1960. Now, in 1997, when I came across this, I couldn't believe it. And he said, if you can be made to sag your pants, you will be wearing a dress. Now, this is 97, so he couldn't have been talking to me. You know, where you get me to wear a dress? Well, I don't believe in that sagging your pants either. And I was trying to figure out, what is this man talking about? If you... If you sag your pants, you'll wear your dress. I'm like, what the hell? How, how he made this jump? How is this possible? Well, anyway, like my friend's grandmother always says, keep on living. <laughs> I could not believe that I live long enough to see big grown men in women's clothes. And to make matters worse, they're trying to justify it. Oh, I'm secure, I'm my gangster. I can wear a dress. I can wear a skirt. 
Um, sorry, um, no. Gentlemen, if you're in the Empress Club, you cannot be dressing in the latest women's fashion for men. I'm sorry. And the thing that disturbed me is to see men my age, my generation, who grew up and run DMC, LL and all of them, wearing skirts. Now, I know they call it a kilt. If you are not Scottish, and I'm a real born Scottish, from Scotland, not of you born outside of, out of Scotland because your parents are Scot from Scotland, that means you're Scottish. No, if you're not born in Scotland, grew up in Scotland, come of age in Scotland, you have no reason at all whatsoever to wear a kilt. There's a reason for the kilt. It is not a skirt. There's a reason for it. No, I'm not gonna tell you. I'll do like my teachers. That's your homework, gentlemen. You go and find out the reason for the kilt. And you'll understand why it is not a skirt. It's not a skirt, gents. It is a kilt. Sorry, I'm having problems holding this phone up. Sorry. It is a kilt. If you are not Scottish, I don't care if you have a Scottish ancestry. If you're not from Scotland, you have no reason to be wearing a kilt. You are wearing a skirt. Call it what it is. I'm sorry for the Scottish people who, who were born outside of Scotland because it was them who explained to me while I was in New York what the purpose of a kilt is. And I went to the library and did my homework and I found out they were telling the truth. No big, grown, stinking man should be in a kilt who is not Scottish. It is a skirt. And it disturbed me to see men in my generation and older wearing skirts then to add insult to injury or to solve the wound it's a kill they get it made out of leather and i thought it couldn't get any lower these dudes are twirling in broad daylight in a skirt i mean i understand it looks good when you see little girls do it but they're little girls. Why you as a big grown man, born in the 70s and earlier, wearing a skirt, make it out of leather, and twisting your hips back and forward to watch the thing go, uh, make that dizzying uh, movement. Please explain this to me. Then, but and I thought the ship couldn't sink any lower. The ship went straight through the Titanic. And I, I don't normally call names, but I can call your name. Omar Epps came on worldwide TV in a real skirt. Not even a kilt. A real skirt. And then, to make it worse, he did it on The View. Now, to me, no real man supposed to be on the view. I don't care for what reason. No real man, that is a man, supposed to be on the view. End of the story. So he strike out there. That's three strikes. He put the skirt on. That's another three strikes. Then he came out on worldwide TV wearing it. That's three strikes. And uh, that queen. Um, what is his name? Diggs or something like that? Anyway. Oh no, Boris Kujo. Who get his son painting his nails with his hand, uh, fist up in the air. First of all, Queen, that is disrespectful to the reason why that black fist was raised in the air. That is for equality for me to be treated like a human being. That's for me, for me, any black person, to be treated like a human being. That is disrespectful for you to paint your son's nails, and for you to do it, and wear makeup. But I think Tay Diggs did it too. You name man, there are things that come with it. You don't do things like that as a man. You're not a woman, you can't be one. 
And while we're on this, we can address this nonsense about male feminists. Gentlemen, if you're in the Empress Club and you're a male feminist, you get two cases of coke and you will be shoved out the door. Hopefully over a balcony. You are a man. End of the story. There's no pain in your nails. You, you want to stand up for women? I have two sisters and lots of nieces and, and female cousins. I'm all for that. But I'm, at the end of the day, I'm still a man. I will conduct myself and carry myself like a man. So gentlemen, you've got to be careful of this music. I, I'm very suspicious of rap music now. Very, because I, I don't understand how these thugs are, are, are on one, one side of their mouth glorifying drug use or another hole in their face, so they're, 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 they're preaching castration. So, gentlemen, you be very careful with this foolishness. Like the, the Bible says, study the fruit. Uh, you can't tell me you're a straight man if you're comfortable wearing pantyhose. And I know they call it leggings, but it's pantyhose. You're a man. You should not be wearing pantyhose. And gentlemen, if you are the lost, that's the why women have no respect for men now. That's it right there. How a woman's going to treat you with respect and you wearing pantyhose, you have got a purse. You've got your nails done, you're wearing makeup, you sit in the, uh, the, the mirror for hours to get ready. No, I was taught to conduct myself in a manner that commands respect. And as a man, you can't command respect if you're on drugs. So you neutralize yourself there. And conducting yourself like a woman, you castrate yourself. So now, you ca you castrated drug addict, are you serious? I think not, gentlemen. You be careful of this music and the message that is, 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 given, is putting out and, and where it's trying to take you. Now, you've been warned. You know better and you know what you to do. Do better. And those who know and do not act accordingly should be what? Thank you. Whipped with many stripes. All right, gentlemen. Goodbye.